Hi and welcome to MB Tech TV where we like to help you find affordable products faster. Now, my name is Ryan and if you haven't been here before, make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell so you do not miss anything. So in this episode, I'm going to show you a free VPN that actually works on Netflix. So this issue with Netflix is that uh, there are licensing and distribution agreements, which is why uh, Netflix looks completely different in different countries. So what you tend to do is find yourself uh, wanting, to, for example, to watch Police Academy. <laughs> But it's only available in the States, but not here in the UK. So that means the only way to be able to access the various content from across the world is by using a VPN. So these VPNs makes your smartphones, tablets and computers uh, look like they're located in different countries. So sites like Netflix let you view content from any country you want. Now the only trouble is you have to pay for most VPNs so add that on top of your Netflix subscription and it soon starts to add up. Obviously there are free VPNs available but most of them are just not up to the job. They've got limited bandwidth and they are shockingly low speeds and pretty much no security and nine times out of ten with the free vpns netflix can usually tell when you're using a free vpn and you'll get the dreaded error screen and you won't be able to stream anything until you disconnect oh no god no god please no 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 so what I did was I tested a few of the most popular free VPNs and found one that reliably unblocks Netflix. And as always, I've put a link in the description below if you want to download it for yourself. Now, signing up uh, to the free plan is really quick. So let's head over to the computer and have a look. Now, what you need to do is go over to the website winscribe.com. So as you can see, winscribe.com, and then you get presented with a few options. Now, there is a monthly plan, a yearly plan, and builder plan, which is the free plan. So what we're gonna do is click on the build option. And of course, like most things, you'll need to create an account for this to work. It's completely free. Uh, so let's choose an account. Add your email address. and click on create account. So once you've created the account, it has asked you that you're gonna add these on for billing and all that sort of stuff. Don't worry about it, don't go any further, click onto the page or refresh it um, and it'll then present you with the screen that you're seeing right now. So what you need to do is click on download. Now I'm using a Mac, so I'm gonna click on the Mac OS download. It's going to give me a warning, that's fine because I'm aware of it and that's just going to download. There we go, it's downloaded, so let's click on that and open it up. It'll do all the usual things like verifying the install first. So we're going to double click. Getting permissions like this is absolutely fine because it's not from the App Store. So and we're just going to simply follow the on-screen instructions. So my password needs to go in there and just allow it to install. And then what you'll do is you've got your sign in part there. So of course we've already created the account. So we're going to log in using the credentials that you set up earlier on. So there we go. It looks like it's all installed and there you go. And the good thing about this so far is, as you can see, you don't even need to add your credit card details. It is really, really free. So, so once you've downloaded it, you'll see your little box just here. And all you need to do is click on locations, which will then show you all the locations that this product has to offer. Now you'll see ones with stars on, they're the paid options. Uh, you're looking for ones without that, which have just generally got the country's flag on it. So what I wanna do now is connect, I'm here based in the UK, so I'm gonna now connect over to the States uh, and I'm gonna click on say US Central and it's gonna give me a few options there. Uh, and let's click on, uh, let's click on uh, Atlanta. So you click on that and then give it a few seconds 
it'll connect and then change your IP address on top of that as well. So it's brilliant. So already it's free. You've not had to put your card details in and you've got the service ready there. So what we need to do is give it a bit of a test. So let's head over. Uh, let's let's head over to our site here and go to let's go to netflix.com so now it seems to think i'm over in the states so let's uh let's sign in and there we go so as you can see this seems to think that i'm over in the states at the moment it's bringing up uh american products which we don't get here in the uk as you see there look top 10 in the us today and it's completely free. So what I wanna do just to prove that it works, we're gonna stop that one and now we're gonna switch it to the UK version just to prove, uh, just to show you that then it'll switch over to the UK server. So as you can see, I'm putting it on there and we are connected. So if we go back over to Netflix, let's reload our Netflix. And as you can see, bang, it's changed over to the, to the UK side of it look at that there you go and of course this is all just completely free stuff it's fantastic look there you go top 10 in the uk today and the beauty about it is it is all completely free so as you can see it doesn't take long to start playing i wasn't experiencing any buffering and it seems pretty pretty good when you switch in between those servers the good thing about it as well uh, as i mentioned you can stream it without any buffering in fact actually i tried um windscribe's free servers in canada uk netherlands and germany and hong kong as well uh, and i didn't have any issues watching netflix uh, so which seems too good to be true right and that's because generally it is. You need to remember that all free VPNs come with a catch. You only have access to several locations in 10 countries, and this doesn't include Winscribe's special WinFlix servers. So while you can access Netflix with Winscribe at the moment, there's no guarantee it will last forever. And plus, you only get 10 gigabytes of data per month, which isn't that much. Well, while it's still pretty generous for a free VPN, uh, and the download and upload speeds, I would say, are pretty mediocre. And again, we have to remember that this is free. There's only enough for around four or five movies if you want to stream more than just a few episodes of your favourite show uh, and you want to binge watch a ton of movies and programmes. And this probably won't cut it for you. So if you want to upgrade to the paid VPN, um, I don't even think Winscribe is worth the money. I would probably pay for something like Atlas VPN or Surfshark or another similar company. Other VPN companies though give you more servers, faster speeds and better streaming access at a much lower cost. It's definitely worth looking into if it's going to be a long term thing for you. But the question is though, what is your preferred VPN? Do you have a great free VPN? Let me know down in the comments box below. Now, don't forget, you can be part of the MB community and become a member for as little as $1.99 a month. You can get early access to videos, special members' live streams, and loads more. All you need to do is simply click on the Join Now button and you're in. And of course, if you want to check out more videos, read our blogs, or just simply get in touch, you can head over to the website. It's mmbtechtv.co.uk. So go and check it out. Uh, once again, thank you so much for checking out the video. And until next time, it's bye-bye for now. <laughs>